everybody. How are you doing this morning? Woo! So good to see you all, and thank you to the NAACP and me and all the groups that are part of this today. And most of all, thank you to you all for coming out. Because if you ever doubted that your voices matter and that organizing matters, this is a moment where we are so close to getting real change on canceling student debt. And that is due to you. It's due to the people around the country who have been organizing for this. And you all know I'm the chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. We have been, yeah, thank you. We have been fighting at the forefront of this fight to cancel student debt because we know that this is an immoral policy, but it is also the wrong thing for our families and for our economy, right? When I ran for Congress in 2016, there was $1.3 trillion in student loan debt. And that was a giant number that made no sense at all because the reality is our government has been profiting off of student debt, off of the interest rates that you all pay. And the reality is that our government has disinvested in your education so that decades ago, you didn't have to pay so much to go to college. And now because government has disinvested, you all are paying enormous amounts of money to get a degree and we want you to get a degree. So how does this make any sense at all? So that is why it is really important now. Today, in 2022, we have $1.75 trillion in student debt. What does that mean? I hear from people all the time, and not even just young people in college or coming out of college, but people in their 30s and their 40s who are saying to me, I can't even get my own place to live. I've moved in with my parents. I've decided not to have a family. I'm not opening a small business. I'm not paying for medication that I need because I am being crushed by this student debt. So. The Progressive Caucus has been pushing for a year and a half since this president came into office to say, President Biden, you have the opportunity to make a difference for 45 million Americans across this country by canceling student debt. And we, we put this on our slate of executive actions that we unveiled a couple of weeks ago and with Senator Warren and with Senator Sanders and Ayanna Presley and I know you heard from Ilhan and so many others, we have been pushing and we actually spoke directly to the president a couple of weeks ago about how important it is right now before the next pause ends to cancel student debt. And we are this close. We are this close and I want you all to cheer for yourselves because that would not happen without the movement across the country to actually cancel student debt. We are going to get this done and when we do, when we do, I want you to remind yourselves over and over again that no matter how big the mountain may seem, no matter how tough it may feel, no matter how much you're not getting 100% of what you want, you can make a difference through your organizing. So thank you all so much for what you're doing. Let's go get this done. Let's keep up the organizing and let's bring relief to our economy because our economy will grow when we cancel this student debt and bring relief to our families across the country. Thank you all so much. Woo!